What up YouTube, Andrew over here at Fury Motors and Stillwater. Today I'm going to be coming to you with a 2019 Ram 1500. We're going to be taking a look at the 12 inch display. A complete game changer in its segment. There's nothing like it. This truck has all the technology. It is a limited trim model. So let's take a look at that screen. If you see anything you like in the video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and then leave a comment down below. I really appreciate your support. Ta-da! Here she is in all her glory. The 12 inch display on the 2019 Ram Limited. So we're gonna start off checking out the media portion. So the default setting, I hopped right in here. You know, you got your uh, your presets up here and then in the middle, you can access the map, which is nice. Cause then you can, you know, adjust your audio controls as well as see what's going on with the navigation as you're driving, which is pretty cool, I would have to say. Um, you know, here on the bottom portion, it tells me about the media and you have some different controls down here. You can browse your device, tune to a channel, um, you know, adjust your audio, equalizer, balance, that kind of stuff. And then on the left side, you have your selection for the source. So you got USB, Bluetooth, AM, FM, satellite radio. Also, quick mention, it's got a little home button on the top left and then settings. And then you got your outside temperature. We're actually inside. It's way hotter outside today, but 73 inside here, it looks like. We're on the show floor right now. Um, and then we got the controls here. We got three different settings for the heated seat, the vented seat, and then there's also heated wheel. So this thing is really well equipped. The Limited really just has all the bells and whistles. You know, you can turn on and off your mirror dimmer. You can deploy the side steps. As you can hear, they just deployed. Um, I just retracted them. It's pretty cool. Of course, also passenger heated and ventilated seats there. Got the backup camera that pops up. So if I want to zoom it in, if I want to look at, you know, the curb, if I'm parking or if I'm pulling a trailer or a boat or something, you know, it might be nice to see what's going on a little zoomed in. But yeah, really high resolution backup camera. Um, and then when you set it up, it, it kind of covers half the screen, the top half. And, you know, I really, uh, I really like the updated backup camera. You know, the old backup cameras were just such garbage. You just couldn't see anything and they were really choppy when you're moving and obviously you can see stuff that's really far away you know pretty clearly in the video so it's pretty impressive I like what they did with that all right so we'll get out of the controls now and we'll go take a look at the climate settings I'll turn the climate on and you got your temperature adjustments on the sides here some different controls up top and then you know whatever setting you want to be in here and then here's your control for different speeds of the fan um, we'll just keep that off for now otherwise it'll kind of be noisy for the video then you got all your apps it's in a custom setup right now I could filter them A to Z or filter them based on other criteria you got travel link Wi-Fi hotspot projection manager you know app manager media some different stuff here then we'll hop over to the navigation so when you're in the navigation mode down here it pretty much covers almost the whole screen which is really nice you can search the internet here for locations and then where to information and nav settings as you can see we're right here next to the freeway we're at free motors and still water and uh, what I like is that it pretty much covers the whole screen when you're in navigation mode and it's also really crisp and clean and like easy to see you know where the roads are around you it, it, it actually is really user-friendly it shows you which way the traffic heads you know so if I zoom it in here you can see that on this exit ramp people head this way and then on, on the entrance ramp you go here you know that's something most don't have I don't think so it's pretty nice touch um, just really nice to look at and easy to use there and then of course the phone stuff if I want to pair my phone for making calls or using Bluetooth stuff and then also can access the backup camera from the bottom part of the menu there and then we'll go back to menu so now we've pretty much seen everything that the inside of the screen can do uh, more or less and then you also have some of the same controls on the outside if you don't want to go through the menu on the screen to do it and then you got your tuning selecting stuff you got a screen off button on the left side and then you got your volume controls over here so nice big knobs easy to see and use you also have a mute button down there so right down here you have all the switches for some different things kind of make it feel like a race car old school race car that's kind of fun so you got your air ride settings there are four different settings for the air ride here that you can adjust um, you can turn off traction control tow haul mode and then the front and rear parking sensors you can turn those on and off down here as well all right YouTube this has been a quick tour of the 12 inch display in the 2019 Ram limited thanks for watching have an awesome day be sure to leave a comment down below give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already take care